Hi everybody, Dave Culbertson with HER Realtors. And this is Colonial Woods, a very nice mature development from the 70s on the southeast side of Mount Vernon, or east side. And this is my newest listing, 31 Kester Drive. And it's open Sunday, 1 to 3, if it hasn't sold yet. Uh, very nice ranch, uh, nice roof, and let's go take a look. This is a super location. Actually, from the backyard, you could walk to the bike path. And we're just going to do a quick little walkthrough. But very nice neighbors, nice neighborhood. And it's brick and vinyl. I'll take my shoes off. Now this is a Berber carpet that's just been cleaned. Uh, you might want to look at flooring. There is not hardwood under this, letting you know that. But the living room here, we've got thermopane windows. And this is a wood-burning fireplace. It hasn't been burned for a while, so you want to check the chimney, but uh, they believe everything's okay. And let's see, let's go to the kitchen. Laminate floors. And here's a slider going out to a patio, which we'll look out there in a minute. And uh, an eat-in kitchen. Nice and clean and bright. Dishwasher, electric range, a hood, and refrigerator. And this is available online or I can email it to you, but it shows the location. And here it is here. And you were within walking distance of the Kokosing Gap Trail, which is one of Ohio's famous hiking and biking trails, a kayak launch, Memorial Park, which has ball fields, uh, tennis, pickleball, all sorts of activities there and playgrounds. And then here's Mount Vernon High School's athletic fields. There's an indoor track, Mount Vernon High School, Mount Vernon Middle School, and the Nazarene University and you're really not far from Foundation Park. And the lot is very large. We're gonna go back and walk it or just take a look at it. Uh, while I'm looking out the door here, there's a stream that runs right here and you're, you have no floodplain problems. We're way above the stream. And that woods across the way I'm assuming will never be developed. It's owned by the city of Mount Vernon. It's just a woods. Uh, a lot of deer and turkey run through there. Okay. Oh, here's the garage, two car garage. Again, this is 31 Kester. Oh, and our price is 199,777. And quite a bit of activity in the first day. So I'm assuming it might go higher than that. There's a door to the outside from the garage. You've got a sink to wash up after wor working out in the yard. Nice clean garage. Everything in here is really clean. Let's go down the hallway and check out the bedrooms. This is uh, just a little over a thousand feet. So it's a it's compact, but it's very efficient. This is a hall closet. Um, you don't have a full floor because of the stairs here, but you could put shelves here or just leave it for hanging clothes. Okay, on the right is our first bedroom. It does have very nice hardwood floors. And these two bedrooms on the front both have these nice ledges here. Uh, they're little bump outs or kick outs that the windows are in. And nice place to, it's not low enough to be a bench, but it's very, very nice for plants or whatever. Um, here's the hallway bath. Uh, that's ceramic and that's an old cast tub. So that's in, you know, that's going to be there as long as you'd like it to be. And the next bedroom, uh, same hardwood floors, very nice and clean. Again, you got one of those window ledges and, uh, Decent sized closet, not walk-in, but decent sized closet. And right over there is how you get to the bike path.
just right out the back there. And we'll look at that outside. And here's the master bedroom. Now it's got that same Berber in it, and it is not hardwood under this, in this bedroom. And let's see, got ceiling fan. Now this is, this, I've got an idea for this because this is an interesting setup. It's not my cup of tea, but the master bath is like a Jack and Jill out to the kitchen again. So because of that, you have you got a nice shower, but it's kind of small. My idea, don't tell anybody, this will be a secret between you and me, where that door is, close that off as a wall from the kitchen side and then turn this into a much larger shower. And this is where you would walk into the shower and it would double the size of your shower without really bumping out any walls or anything. So keep that in mind. We'll keep that our own little secret. Okay, let's go downstairs real quick. I guess I should have gone through the, the bathroom to get there. But see, this is the other side of it. So just say this would be wall instead of a door. And let's go downstairs. It's unfinished. It's 11 course block wall. Uh, everything I can tell is, is very dry. Today we're having a monsoon. Uh, this is, what, Thursday. And it's raining like crazy today. It seems dry. Now this is where the laundry is. It is in the lower level. But one of those bathrooms maybe uh, that butt up to the uh, the other bathroom or the bedrooms. Maybe you could put a laundry in there if you ever want first floor laundry. This is a gas, forced air, efficient furnace, six years old. And we do have natural gas. And uh, just a large dry basement that you could do anything you want with. Um, and... In all honesty, the first thing I would probably do is address the old Pushmatic uh, electric box. It still works, but you're limited. I would switch to 200 amp and upgrade and ground all the uh, outlets and everything. But it definitely still works. So that's it. Now I'm going to get my shoes back on. We'll take a quick look out back, hopefully. Let's see. Thanks for bearing with me. This is uh, 31 Kester, my newest listing. Again, it's going to be open Sunday 1 to one to 3, Sunday, February 20th. But if I were a betting man, I would say it's probably going to be in contract before that. So uh, you might want to reach out to me or your favorite realtor. Well, hey, I should be your favorite realtor, right? Anyways, you might want to get a showing in before the open house. These are those bump outs, uh, the two windows in the bedrooms. The roof looked good. There's our gas meter. And this yard goes to an angle all the way back to there and then along the creek. So you're only like a couple hundred feet from the road that goes over to the bike path. They've got clothesline and they've even got a yard light here if you want to run that now, plenty of room back here for whatever you want if you ever wanted to expand you could kick out back or larger larger deck or patio i mean now, oh and there's the air conditioning unit it was done at the same time six years ago very nice and let's walk back here and then we're gonna finish it. Whoa, still slippery. Do not try this at home. <laughs> I may not go all the way down. Gonna hang on to this tree. There's that stream. And really as much of a monsoon rain as we've had today and we've got coming and all the snow melting, that's all the higher the creek has gotten. And it's not on any floodplain maps. And I know the some people that live up this up the way here a lot of deer wildlife just a nice setting 
nice to look out your backyard and see that instead of other houses looking back at you. Well, that's it from 31 Kester. Thanks for bearing with me for 10 minutes. Um, this is Dave Culbertson with HER Realtors. If you do have interest in this, like I said, I would, I would act pretty fast. Reach out to either your, your own realtor or to myself. And my number is 740-485-1641. And you can see this home online at mountvernonhomes.com. Take care, everybody. God bless. Bye-bye.